Happy holidays. Welcome back to BT. It's been the most trusted name in cookbooks for 30 years. And Mary Halpin joins us with some breakfast recipes from the new book, Best of Bridge Holiday Classics. Mary, good to see you. It's good to be here, Jerry. I, I love nothing more than breakfast and making watching Courtney go to work. Well, yeah, you know what? Started. We decided we'd get Courtney started because this is the the consummate breakfast, we call it Christmas morning wife saver, because you make it the night before and in the morning you look like a star because it's already done. Awesome. So you start off with, um, first of all, you, you, it's a strata. So you make layers and then on top you pour eggs with spices. So I'm going to get you to whip the eggs. You got it. And um, then add the uh, spices as you go along. We're adding, um, uh, we've got six eggs, we're adding four cups, three cups of milk, and some mustard, Tabasco, and Worcester, and you just get to Ooh. go do that. Get some air okay. in those, Courtney. And, get, yeah. those. I want those light okay, eggs. Get I'll some air in there. Exactly. She, there's a little talent there, I can tell. She's got she it. says she's just working on learning. Because we were joking around about that, but you said this cookbook really is designed for those that really don't know a whole lot about yeah, it. Yeah, because we were young mothers when we did this, and we chose the recipes that we knew worked. So that's why the book and the recipes do well. Okay. This is a good, you take the, the crusts off some white bread. Nice. We, used to, we used to call this flannel bread, but you know, you need white bread just because it gives you a fluffier result. So you take the crusts off, you lay it in a casserole, yep. and then on top of that you put uh, ham, nice. shaved ham like that. And um, you could do all kinds of variations with this. It says back bacon. Oh. Uh, my mother used to do this with um, corned beef. So oh. you can put as much beef and be, be uh, ham in this as you want. This is going in. I'm sorry, I don't want to mess Absolutely. this up. Absolutely, yeah? good job. Okay. <laughs> and then the Worcester, and the, just a couple of shakes of that. And okay. the same with the Worcester, about a teaspoon. On top of the ham, we're going to put some grated cheese. Nice. Now, cheddar is the operative word here. Mm -hmm. And you can do it in slices, or you can do it grated, whatever is easy. Because you know what? It doesn't matter how you do this recipe. It never fails. Is it because cheddar makes it better, Mary? Absolutely. <laughs> 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 You've been watching some cooking show. <laughs> so, and then on top of this, the next layer. Okay. And that's why it's called a strata because it's uh, it's sort of like a ham and cheese sandwich. Yeah. And um, the the beautiful part about this recipe is that families and kids love it. In fact, my kids like to come to the cottage and have this in the summertime. And uh, why not? If we've been playing the night before, we can get up in the morning and have a good breakfast with no problem. Great. Now, one. on top of that, we're going to put the eggs. So okay. uh, here, Courtney. Pour Why don't it all you just over? pour it all over the top like that? Okay, Mary, let me ask about uh, the bridge, Best of Bridge. Literally started as a bunch of ladies who played bridge together and said, you know what, darn it, we're good cooks. We should make a cookbook. And that's exactly <laughs> no. what happened. And then somebody said we should call it the Best of Bridge because the best part of bridge was eating. <laughs> but that was the first publishing mistake we made because we had to spend two years explaining you don't have to play bridge to use our cookbook. Right. <laughs> now, on top of that, we have a mixture of uh, onions and chopped up green peppers. Um, I actually have to say that now, when I'm making it, I like to put in some uh, red peppers too because it looks quite festive. Oh, that would be nice for Christmas. So the yeah. thing is, there it is. You go, you go over to the fridge, cover it with some cellophane, put it in the uh, fridge. In the morning, when the kids are opening their stockings, this is all nice and gooey. It doesn't look very promising trust me okay and then you um, oh we need some butter it's melted over there actually Ooh. What, oh, did you put the butter in Ooh, no yeah. no but you see that's the best part about it is it's all going to work <laughs> as long as you have the 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 uh the grease from the butter in there it'll work okay sorry. listen one time i did this i forgot the cheese <laughs> so i had to stick the cheese in afterwards so at I least can't... we remember the cheese yeah courtney see you know courtney you're learning that's okay really that's good. right you're right because you have to make mistakes in the kitchen to get yep. better i'm okay? sure it's going to work okay all right and I then on top you if you have some breakfast cereal like this is uh, special k or cornflakes this is before you cook it uh this is before you put it in oh, the right. oven and I have to say that now my kids are gone I never have any of this kind of cereal around anymore so I just use crunched up taco chips oh yeah you can Little you spice. can do your own variations of this that sounds better Trust than me. the frosting this might bread. be called Courtney's Christmas running wife saver because yes. there's a variation in the menu that's right I created this you see that see Thank you I very much, I Mary. I expect to see it in next year's version of the Best of Bridge. <laughs> okay. We didn't even get to this other great stuff. Mary, you're going to stick around. We're going to be back in For just sure. a few minutes with more recipes and your chance to win a couple of these fabulous cookbooks. With recipes going back to 76? Yep, 1976. Wow. Eight friends coming together. Who knew? Stick with us.